Hi guys, so Dubs here and today I'm doing a video overview and unboxing on the Kyvol Cybervac E30. Now the E30 sits in Kyvol's brand new robot vacuum cleaner range. In other words, it sits in between the E20 and the E31 and I'll get into the differences in just a bit. Now the E30, the one that on video over here, can be found for £249 in the UK, $249 in the US and €279 Euros if, any, if you live anywhere in Europe. Now I'd like to thank Kyvol for actually sponsoring this video. If you'd like to purchase this vacuum cleaner or would like any further information, do check out in the links in the description below. So without further ado, let's get into it. So let's go ahead and unbox the product. It's going to be the first for me as well. So here it is outside the box and let's just get rid of these ones now. And you can see over here we've got a user manual, a user guide for the Kyvol app and we've got the vacuum cleaner over here. Now we're going to get rid of all this uh, film. So here we have all the package contents out of the box. So you've got the robot vacuum cleaner itself, you've got its charging base with a appropriate connector. In, in my case as I live in the UK, it's a UK wall plug. You've actually got a remote control which is actually pretty rare to see in a robot vacuum cleaner. It does come included with two uh, AAA batteries. Then uh, you've got a cleaning tool which is always useful. You've got the side brushes which we'll install in just a bit. Uh, you've got some 3M stickers and then you've got the no-go uh, line. Uh, so in other words the physical no-go line if you don't want to go in a certain place. And then you've also got a filter. So now we're going to take a closer look at the vacuum cleaner itself. You can see over here it's got a bumper which extends all the way over here. You'll need to get the little bits off over here if you want it to work. These are are soft touch buttons which are quite nice to see and you can see quite a glossy look over here and the Wi-Fi symbol over here. Now if we flip it around what you'll see is the wheels so you can see they've got a suspension design you've got the brush over here which can also be removed in order for cleaning so let's get it out just for the sake of it um, and then you've also got the side brush now it's quite interesting to see there's actually one side brush which goes over here so therefore the other one is actual actual spare which is nice you've also got another uh, wheel over here which will help it in terms of rotating so it doesn't only just rely on the wheels over here you can also remove the battery if you so need to uh, for some reason if you need to replace it uh, there's a screws over here which will open so just to showcase that you can see I've undone the screws over here and you can get the battery off you can just disconnect connect it over here so therefore as I said if you need to replace it you could do in the long run so now while we're here we'll just talk about the rear compartment over here you can see the filter is pre-installed uh, we've got that additional filter if we need it over here uh, and to open this you just have to open up this latch and access the filter like so. Now it's worth bearing in mind that uh, the bin size itself is 0.6 litres, so 600 millilitres, um, and in order to open it all you have to do is do this and you can see it opens up and then you just empty it out. It's a pretty easy design and uh, pretty well, uh, well well designed if you ask me. Now uh, pop that back in and as we pop it back in I'm going to put also its brushes back and then install the side brush over here as well. Now with the brushes installed this gives me a perfect opportunity to talk about the gyroptic sensor over here which is used for navigation. This is the biggest difference between the E30 and the E20. Now the E31 also has the same sensor, it also has a mopping function therefore that's why the E31 is the more premium version over the E30. Now elsewhere in terms of its dimensions and in terms of its weight, in terms of size it's 325 times 324 times 73 millimeters. So it will fit under pretty much all sorts of uh, furniture. Now with that out the way, let's switch it on. There's actually a switch uh, over here. When you switch it on and you can see now the light switches on over here. Now what we're gonna do is go and set up the uh, rope vacuum cleaner via the app which is included um, and free to download on iOS or the Play Store. And now you can see the Kyvol app over here. Now I've already connected up the uh, a robot vacuum cleaner to the phone um, and indeed the app. It's very simple, you just have to ensure that you've got a 2.4 gigahertz frequency band uh, and at which point when you do that uh, you want to hold the power button um, and the home button on the device itself. It will flash the Wi-Fi button at the top uh, several times and it'll start quickly flashing, at which point you go and add a device and then it pretty much connects up pretty much instantly. However, if you have any trouble like that, uh, Kyvol have added a, an application where you can have it via an AP mode. In other words, it creates its own Wi-Fi network and then you connect up to its own Wi-Fi network, its built-in Wi-Fi network. If you have issues, you can do it via that way as well. In my case, it worked via the normal connection method. So now let's talk about the app itself. It's very easy to understand. 
The big green button does exactly what it says on the tin. It does clean, so it starts um, cleaning. You can see right now it's on its charging dock and you might see the LEDs flashing and flickering. That is my camera. Normally it's just pulsating very slowly. So it's just worth bearing that in mind. Uh, now at the top left hand side you'll be able to see how much it's clean so over here I just was playing around with it so you can see it's clean a very small area and for what well, zero minutes and then over here you've got um, the button to send it home over here the spot mode a quick um, access to spot mode and then on the right hand side we've got the settings over here you've got different uh, cleaning modes auto which is what I would suggest edge and spot mode and then you've got the three levels of suction power. Now, in terms of this E30 and like the E31, they're capable of 2,200 pascals of suction power. That's through the blade that's in between the wheels. It's worth bearing in mind that the E20 has 2,000 pascals, so it's a, it's a lower a level of suction power in comparison to its um, or larger and more powerful siblings. Then you've got another thing, it says find my Cybovac. If you press that button, which I'm gonna do now, it will start playing a tone. Now you'll need to interact with it, so in other words, press a button and then uh, have it there. Now, this is quite useful if you ever were to lose the Cybovac, let's say under uh, some furniture or whatever have you. In this case, you can you can find it pretty easily and it's a neat feature to have. So now I wanna give you a quick demonstration as to how it sounds. So I've got a level one and I'm gonna use the manual control for this. So I'm gonna go back, uh, back and forth in order to demonstrate this. So this is level one. Now level two. And now we're gonna go for level three. So hopefully that gives you an indication as to how it sounds. Next up, I just want to quickly show you um, the fact that you've got a schedule as well. So you can edit a schedule. So you can set a schedule over here, set a time, and obviously set the, the date itself. So in other words, Monday through to Sunday. And then from there, we've also got the about device. So here you can update your firmware, see your cleaning record to see what it's actually done. Uh, consumables, so in here you can uh, give you an indication as to how it needs to be changed. So for example, if you need to change its um, HEPA filter or the brush or the side brush. And of course, when you do change it, you can reset it as well to ensure that the app um, keeps up with that as well. Then you've got device sharing. And here you can share the device with somebody else if you so wish. And other than that, you can also rename the device if you so wish. In this case, it's the E30. I've left it as default. And finally, through the app, we've also got the voice control option where you can assign Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa to the uh, Cybovac. And this works throughout the range. So the E21, E30 and E31 are all capable of having the voice assistant as well. Moving on from the app, we've actually got the physical remote which is included with the uh, robot vacuum cleaner. You can see it's actually got quite a nice little groove over here which makes it actually quite easy to hold. Now through this, you've got pretty much all the same sorts of functionalities. You can press it to go to home and therefore it will try and find its home. And then you've got the auto button, which will then um, go auto and therefore uh, allow it to then clean um, the room or the your, your house, should I say. And then you've got the manual controls in terms of moving it forwards and backwards. Um, the play pause button, in other words, uh, stopping or continuing it um, from going around. And then you've got the schedule, um, spot clean, um, the edge clean as well, the auto clean and the minimum maximum in terms of how the fans um, react. So in other words, you've got all the controls that you might want straight through from this remote control as well. So it's a nice addition, in my opinion, in comparison to other robot vacuum cleaners that um, rely solely on an app. And there we have it. That's been my unboxing and overview of the Kaivol CyberVac E30. 
Hopefully this video has given you an indication of how the rest of the CyberVac range will operate, be it from the E20 through to the E31. Let me know in the comments below what you make of it, or indeed of other robot vacuum cleaners out there on the market. And as always, do favorite, subscribe, and like this video, as it always helps the channel grow. And of course, I very much appreciate your time. All right, guys, I've been totally dubbed. Take care and bye-bye.